Microsoft PowerPoint 2010 Class 6 Computer By the end of this chapter, you will understand inserting a table, entering data in a table, table tools and formatting a table style, aligning text in a table, charts and its components, and inserting and formatting a chart. Microsoft PowerPoint is a powerful presentation tool. It helps us to communicate our views and ideas effectively using diagrams, photos, charts, clip arts, sounds, colors, designs, and animated special effects. PowerPoint provides additional features to organize the information in a tabular format. A table is a grid of cells arranged in rows and columns. In this lesson, we will learn how to insert a table, apply a table style, and format the table using various commands. Inserting a table To insert a table, Click on the new slide drop down arrow on the home tab. Select the title and content layout. Click on the insert table icon present on the slide. The insert table dialog box will appear. Define the number of rows and columns and click OK. A table will be displayed according to the defined rows and columns. To enter the data in a table, place the mouse pointer in the first cell of the table and type heading. Press the tab key to take the inserting point to the next cell. Type heading for the next cell. Similarly, we can insert the data in the table using the tab key or arrow keys of the mouse. After typing data in a table, click anywhere outside the table. Table Tools When you insert a table in PowerPoint 2010, a new tab, Table Tool, appears. You will find various tools and commands present on its design and layout tabs, such as Borders, Shading, Draw Table, Table Styles, Merge Cells, split cells, etc. These tools are very helpful while formatting a table in the slide. Formatting a table style Table styles When you insert a table, PowerPoint automatically applies a table style to the table. You can view various styles on the table styles group on the design tab under the Table Tools tab. To apply a table style, first select the table. Click on the Design tab to access all the table styles and other options of this tab. Hover the cursor over any table style to see its live preview on the slide. Click on the More drop-down arrow of the Table Styles group to view all the options. Click on the desired style to select it. To change the table shading, select the table. Click on the design tab. Select the rows or columns that you want to modify. Click on the shading option in the table styles group and select any color of your choice. You can also select any other option from the drop down list of the shading command. To apply border, select the cells or rows or columns you want to modify. Click on the border button in the table styles group on the design tab. Select the all border options from the drop down menu. Border will be applied on the selected cells. Border color. 
the paint color tool is used to change the cells rows columns border color select the table click on the paint color button in the draw borders group on the design tab a color palette appears choose the required color the mouse pointer changes to a pencil shape click the left mouse button on the border whose color you wish to change or simply drag the mouse on the cell border and release the button the line color will be changed border style this tool is very helpful in changing the line style of a table to do that select the table and click on the paint style list box on the design tab under the table tools tab a drop down menu appears select the required style the mouse pointer changes to a pencil place the mouse pointer on any border of the table and click on it or drag the mouse pointer on it observe the changes aligning the text alignment refers to the positioning of the text in a table cell or row or column by default the text is aligned to the top of the cell you will find six alignment buttons on the layout tab which are align text left center align text right align text top center vertically and align bottom to align the text select the cells whose text alignment you wish to change click on the center vertically button in the alignment group on the layout tab observe the changes of the text alignment likewise you can select any alignment from the given choices charts in powerpoint chart is an effective way to display data in a graphical and pictorial format charts make it easier to show comparisons and growth relationship among the values and trends in data charts provide an accurate analysis of the information when we insert a chart the data is displayed in a special window called data sheet a chart gets updated automatically with any change in data let us have a look on components of chart first chart area the chart area includes the complete area and all the objects in the chart category axis category axis or x axis is the horizontal axis the matter that is compared and presented in the chart under it value axis value axis or y axis is the vertical axis that is used to plot the values data series data series are the bars slices or the other elements that shows the data values category name the category names are the labels displayed on the x and y axis plot area the plot area is the window within the chart area it contains the actual chart itself and includes plotted data series category and value axis legend it depicts the colors patterns or the symbols that are assigned to the data series chart title it describes the aim and content of the chart grid lines these can be either horizontal or vertical lines depending on the selected chart type they extend across the plot area of the chart grid lines make it easier to read and understand the values to insert a chart click on the layout button present on the home tab and select the title and content layout from the drop down menu select the click to add title place holder and type monthly expenses click on the insert chart icon on the slide head the insert chart dialog box appears select the chart type in the left pane and then 
the subtypes of the selected charts will be reflected on the right pane select the column chart and click okay okay the chart will be displayed with the data sheet that contains default data you can change the values of the data sheet as shown in the demo observe it very carefully to change the chart type select the chart click on the design tab under chart tools click on the change chart type button in the type group the change chart type dialog box will appear select any chart type and click okay the chart will change accordingly formatting a chart formatting improves the appearance of a chart we can format the chart to add title change the text font line color width border style legends data series etc when we insert a chart the three new tabs appear on the ribbon they are design layout and format containing various chart tools and commands that allow you to modify and format the chart modifying the chart layout the chart layout determines how specific chart information will appear to change the chart layout select the chart and click on the design tab scroll through the options in the chart layout group and click on the more drop down arrow to see the available chart layout options at once select any chart layout according to your need additional chart formatting use the tools on the format tab to modify the chart in various ways using this tab we can change the chart outline format the chart and text and more changing the shape styles and color quick styles for line includes the line styles gradients and various effects and shadow select the line that you want to change select any quick style from the shape styles group on the format tab under chart tools or to view more quick styles click on the more button and select the desired style changing background colors and patterns we can modify chart by changing its colors patterns and background right click on the plot area of the chart and select the format plot area option from the context menu the format plot area dialog box will appear select the border styles border color shadow effect according to your choice click on the fill tab then click on the picture or texture fill option from the right pane select the texture button and choose the required texture from the displayed choices click on the close button and observe the change to watch the exercises video of the same lesson please find the link in the description box given below thank you let us recap microsoft powerpoint is a powerful presentation tool to insert a table in a presentation select title and content from the new slide button on the home tab we can apply formatting effects on a table by using table tools chart is an effective way to display data in a graphical and pictorial form chart area includes the complete area and all the objects in a chart plot area includes plotted data data series category and value axis the chart title describes the aim and content of the chart Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated. Your comments and suggestions are valuable to us.